And we're back in Sex to Sync TV. Remember, if you want more information about Sex to Sync, please feel free to log on to www.sinkstosinktv.com. I'm your host, B, and we are here chopping it up with Badass Kima. Right. So we want to know, how did you get the name, that stage name? Oh, names. <laughs> if I tell you the names I had to go through, man, <laughs> I done went from just Kima to like, nah, everybody call yourself Kima. Then I was like, you know what? Let me just try to make a difference. Let me look the underscore. Okay. So it was it was underscore Kima. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? I'm like underscore Kima. You feel me? Like that. I'm like, yeah, that's different. Yeah. And then I was like, I had my first Instagram name. I used to call myself badass underscore Kima. Okay. That's why I really want people to go and be badass underscore Kima. But you, you want know, the underscore. You feel me? I want it like that. But you know, it's it's y'all it's y'all way however y'all want to say whatever I take it. But it was just like that. It was like an Instagram name. Oh, okay. Because people used to call me that. Like, okay. I guess when Instagram had first started off, and then people just started calling people with their Instagram name. Gotcha. And then that was a lit Instagram name. Like, gotcha. I'm on badass underscore chemo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Man, so we could, we could go right into your single then. Oh, yeah, my single. My first single is called Changed Up. My first Changed track up. I ever wrote my first lyrics bars 16 figuring out the 16 bars and <laughs> where the hook go and how many lines supposed to go here that track right there is called changed up you so passionate about it yeah man because that's my baby that's okay. why I'm my first born so what what makes that track besides it being your first track what makes that track track so endearing to you it's just making a statement like it's just staying that I changed up. I changed my life. Like everything that I've been through in my life, every situation that I've been through, every obstacles that I've been through made me into who I am now. Right, right. Made me into A lot of time people don't want to change though. People are afraid of change, right? They fear change. They fear new, you know, environment, new beginnings. How is it that you're able to take on change and say, "You know what? This is the route I'm going to take." Well, it's like without change, Ain't nothing gonna change. <laughs> you feel right. me? You gotta put some effort in. You gotta be doing something to try to get to a goal that you're trying to reach. Yes. Unless you wanna be in that same spot in that same predicament that you're in. Exactly. Like, what you gonna sit there? You gonna gloat about what, what's going on or what happened or what somebody done did or whatever like that? Or is either you gonna fix the situation and change it and see something better out of the I situation? I love it. So, no complacency with, with bad ass chemo. Changed up on them. <laughs> so, with the change in two, there's so much going on, we know, in the community. And you are actually from Miami. Yes, I am. Little Haiti, to Little be Haiti exact. In the building. Right, yeah. right. So there's so much going on in a, in a city. How is it that you think that, you know, how is it that you will motivate someone who is going through certain things and they're afraid to make that change? They're afraid to step out and say, you know what? I'm going to change my life. I, I can't hang around these people anymore. I can't live this lifestyle anymore. How is it that you feel like you as bad as Kima can go ahead and motivate someone to make that transition. Do you want to see change or not? Do you want to still be going through that same situation you're going through or not? It's like, it's like, it's up to you, basically. It's like, what's in your control? You can control the situation. You're right. You're right. So it's really up to you and how you want to live your life and how you want to go through it and how you want everything to be set. I love you know it. I, mean? I love it. So, so prior to this, how how were you how were you able to get this much passion and motivation? Because you it's, you haven't even been a year in the game. So how is it that you're able to be so solid and motivated and ambitious with this? Because me finding out something that I actually that at first I thought that I couldn't do, and me actually just sitting there and putting my time into it and my heart into it and it being something creating something beautiful and like a great product why would you wouldn't want to keep creating that and keep having that going on you feel me like it's just like it's just inspiration i don't i don't know that's just inspirational <laughs> you got it like i'm just like dang i could sit here and i could express how i feel and be able to write it in a song and people messing with it and they like it and they feel the same thing i was feeling so why the heck I ain't been think about this a long time ago? <laughs> Me doubting myself, see change. That's see? what it is. That's what it is. If Fear. I would have still stayed in that little same predicament, like, nah, I can't do that. Nah, I can't do it. Nah, I ain't going to be able to do it. Like, I'm telling you, that's how I was. I was like, you know, I'm going to be a singer. But that singing wasn't going for me. I was like, <laughs> but I, I'm in my head, I'm like, rap ain't going to go for me either. But then when I put my thought and my mind into it, it actually worked. I'm glad you stepped out the box. We're glad you stepped out of the box. You guys, 
Thank you for sticking and staying with us. We'll be right back. Sync to Sync TV. We're here with Badass Kima in the building.